a static test of the HS117 nitric acid motor. Fueling the nitric acid motor was a relatively simple task. The fuel being brought to the fueling point in this tank wagon and the fuel being passed into the motor through appropriate fueling points. Another trial, this time to test the stability after. Another application of solid fuel motors is the rocket-assisted armor-piercing bomb used in 1941 against shipping in the Mediterranean area. These bombs were used exclusively by dive bombers where the low release altitude does not always enable the bomb to attain sufficient velocity for piercing armour. When dive bombers went out of action, so did these bombs. This is a later development. A spherical bomb is released from a fighter and increased in speed by a rocket. When the bomb strikes the surface of the sea, the bomb separates from the rocket and bounces along on the surface of the sea for a considerable distance. The idea was that when the bomb struck a ship, it would sink, and a hydrostatic fuse would cause the bomb to function at a predetermined depth. Another drop, again illustrating the effect of the rocket in substantially increasing the forward speed of the bomb. Now we have a test where two bombs are dropped simultaneously. In this case, they are not rocket-assisted. Here, the bomb will be clearly seen toward the end of its run. Another test, with again two unassisted bombs being dropped. At the end of their run, the bombs will sink and the hydrostatic fuses will operate, showing the extensive effects of this particular bomb.